we have a huge, very important, brand new Danny Masterson update that just came to us last night. Now, I'll go ahead and address what you're probably wondering. Yes, I'm missing a few more teeth than normal. Don't worry about it. I had, you know, most of you know on the channel, I got fake teeth, had to get something on it repaired. It'll be back to normal soon. But listen, just because the teeth are missing doesn't mean the Danny updates are going to be missing. All right, so let's get into it. So if you've been following my updates, Danny, uh, he had 10 days uh, under a, a special watch because he told the guards he wanted to himself. So he was he was being observed, making sure he wasn't going to harm himself, and that he was there for 10 days. Now that 10 days is up, and he's been moved back into the SNY yard population at Corcoran Prison. So now that he's back there, we know the GBG, Gay Boy Gangsters, have already had a hit on him. They want to get him. They want to be the ones to get him first. Uh, and he's heard, apparently heard, that he has this hit out on him. So now that he's been put back into this population where he is at risk, where he is in danger, he is now refusing to leave his cell. Now, he's in a single-person cell when usually you're in a two-man cell. He has no cellmate. He's in there all alone in his cell, refusing to come out. Now, here's the thing. It, that means he doesn't come out to go get breakfast. From my understanding with my sources, uh, how it works out on Corcoran Prison Yard, when you go to breakfast to get your breakfast food tray on your way out of the prison cafeteria, you grab your sack lunch, which serves as your lunch meal. So he's not getting breakfast or lunch. OK, he is likely going to starve if he doesn't change something in his routine soon. I don't know what his end game is here. I don't know what his final plan is, but he's not leaving his cell for any reason, not for any purpose, not even to eat. Now, is he doing all that just because the GBG gay boy gangsters have a hit out on him? Well, that's part of it, but I would say it might also have something to do with the fact that now there are several California prison gangs on the Corcoran Yard who have a hit on Danny Masterson. Danny Masterson has become like a trophy. This is like a hunt for this trophy kill, this trophy attack. You know, which gang will be the one to get him? Which one is going to get that notoriety? Because here's the thing. From our inside sources, we're learning the inmates inside Corcoran Prison who have the contraband cell phones are on YouTube watching these very updates about Danny Masterson. Not just me, but me, other prison creators, anyone who's covering Danny Masterson, they're keeping their eyes and ears out on these updates themselves and just wanting to know what information is being put out there, what, what's out here on the internet, what is being provided for everyone, the general public, to know about Danny and his situation and what's going on with him in prison. They're keeping up with all that. They're watching this, probably going to be watching this video. And, you know, you would think maybe that would make them want to back off. Like, hey, I don't want anything to do with any type of, you know, as far as harming Danny, because, you know, this sounds like it's gotten a little hot. This is, this is a hot topic here. I don't, I don't even want to be affiliated with this. And it's actually the opposite. There are several more prison gangs who are wanting to be the ones to get him first because they specifically want their organization, their gang's name shouted out in one of these videos. They want to be the ones who get credit. They want to be the ones who are known for getting Danny Masterson, not the GBG. They don't want the gay boy gangsters to get them. They feel like that's going to make their gang look weak. You know, we could, we're supposed to be like the stronger, more violent, deadly force out here in California. We can't let them get them. We need to step up and get them. So now you have several gangs all just fighting and racing against each other to be the one who gets their hands on Danny Masterson first. And so that is why Danny is refusing to come out of his cell. How long is that going to last? I have no idea because, I mean, how long can a man go not getting his food? Number one, it's only a matter of time before he just gets so hungry that he just says, screw it. I mean, that extreme hunger just will drive you to do some wild things and take some extreme risks. And he just says, screw it. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, you know, I mean, listen, Danny, it, if you don't go out there and eat, 
the end result is going to be the same, whether it's done to you by these guys or whether it just happens slowly and painfully and, and agonizingly from not eating for who knows how long. So I feel like eventually, I mean, if you get so hungry, you're just going to go out there and you're just going to have to take that risk. Or it could happen a lot sooner than that. Because listen, just because he's not supposed to be let out of his cell and he says, I'm not coming out, safety risk, they're, they're trying to kill me. Oh, I, you know, I need protection. I'm not coming. Don't even open my cell. Don't let anyone in. Don't let me out. Right. He's not the only one to ever do that. I've seen some guys in South Carolina prisons do that. I remember being right next to a guy when we were in a, a dorm back in 2016 uh, on Ridgeland Correctional Institution Yard. There was a guy who, you know, they didn't have any other room for him anywhere else. And so he refused to come out of his cell. He said he needed to be protective. Uh, he was in danger. And so the COs were kind of instructed, you know, there's a certain time of morning where they'll go around and they'll pop everyone's door with the key. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Just kind of go down the line in that big circle around the top tier and the bottom tier and just unlock everyone's door in the morning when it's time for them to come out. But you're supposed to skip his door. And usually they would. But listen, sometimes, I mean, you got this is at like 5 a.m. Maybe the guys just got there. They just started the shift. It's, you know, the guard isn't really thinking. You know, he's just kind of just muscle memory, just popping doors. And he forgets, I'm not supposed to open this one. And he'll do it. Or it's a new corrections officer who just finished training. Or it's a guy who hasn't been working in this dorm. And, you know, they just kind of, they'll rotate guards every every few months or whatever. And he'll, you know, he just came in there and he's not really on the up and up about that. Or he wasn't briefed properly or like, you know, intensely enough to really hammer it in. I'm like, hey, cell number 23, do not open. And they'll kind of come around and just and pop it kind of without thinking or without knowing and just keep going. And many times like that guy next to me, he would scramble to the door and like hurry up and like peek out the door and yell, Hey, Hey, CO, CO, Hey, no, come back. No, you got to lock my door. I'm not supposed to have my door pop. No, no. And he would try to hurry and get him to, to, to lock his door back before anyone realized, Oh, his cell's open and try to run in there and get him. Cause I think he owed a lot of people a lot of money and just wasn't going to pay and just had himself in a whole bunch of hot water. But, point here is the same thing could happen to Danny. Maybe that exactly, or just a number of other, just, Hey, listen, coincidences, mistakes, things happen, man. Maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe a guard doesn't like what he did or who he is. Maybe they've been paid. Maybe, you know, who knows? That's just how prison politics work. You, anything could happen. So, that's kind of where we're at with him now. He's kind of playing the waiting game. He's starving himself while doing it. But now the threat to him has increased by at least two to three, what it was already. Okay, so the, the number of people after him have just multiplied. And so he is refusing to come out of his cell. We're keeping our eyes and ears peeled. Uh, we're staying in touch with the inside source to see what's going on each and every day. Any any new update, anything that's going on, or if anything happens, we'll know and we'll let you know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.